Alright, we now know that the Galaxy S23 series is launching on the 1st of February. So it's actually a lot sooner than what we expected. We also now know how they're going to look. So here's how the base S23 is going to look like. A lot like the S22 Ultra, only smaller and flat. The camera housing is removed and all camera rings are independent now. It's going to be available in these four colors that we know so far. The S23 Ultra 2 will be available in these colors and from the looks of it, all beautiful colors. And you know, I'm going to try and get my hands on the botanic green color. We'll see. But you know, I want to focus on the main highlights of the phone, the reason that you're going to want to get this phone. And firstly, that's going to be cameras. If you guys didn't know already, here's a teaser that Samsung issued claiming megapixels that will make you say, wow. Essentially, it's telling us that they're ready with the 200 megapixel sensor. In fact, here's a snippet that shows you'll have a 200 megapixel mode, a 50 megapixel mode, and the standard 12 megapixel mode. So for those of you who like to take raw photos, you'd have a lot of detail to work with. But it's only going to feature in the S23 Ultra. The other big reveal by Samsung themselves is that the entire S23 series is made for moonlight. What that means is that it's ready for great nighttime photos. They kind of said the same thing for the S22 series when they talked all about nightography, which was an improvement, but only by a bit. However, with Samsung making such a bold statement ready for moonlight, you can really expect them to level up their game. But here's my hot take. Low light photos is still an area that smartphones are left to crack. I mean, even with the most recent iPhone 14 Pro, the low light performance is really not that great. So if Samsung could get that right, I think that would be a big win, but fingers crossed. Even tipster Ice Universe tweeted that the S23 Ultra's night camera is really night vision. So I'm trying not to get my hopes up too high, but it's difficult. Another tipster claims that the front camera is going to get pro mode, nightography features and better quality because of dual pixel technology. And so all you selfie lovers out there or people who want to use their smartphones to create vlog style videos, you're in for a major upgrade. And while the telephoto lenses are still 10x and 3x, it is rumored that they're going to get improved sensors and therefore much better in image clarity and quality. Now, guys, I don't know for sure whether the S23 is going to have anything to compete with action cam and 4K cinematic mode that was found on the iPhone 14 Pro models. But then historically speaking, both Apple and Samsung have always been neck to neck in terms of competition. And so if that's true, then we could see ultra stabilization and portrait video in 4K in S23, at least in the ultra model. But you know, with all this improvement in camera hardware, uh, use of Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, and with improvement in AI and neural processing, we should see significant improvements in all camera modes across all camera lenses. That's definitive. Now, the lenses are bigger too. Here's a leak that shows how the S23 Ultra's case has room for bigger lenses. Also, if you notice, the power button and the volume rockers are a little lower. So reaching them is going to be far more comfortable, which is a minor but a very big improvement. I mean, think about the number of times you press the power button throughout the day. Anyway, let's talk about some design changes that I think would really matter. And the first one is that the S23 series may actually be the first set of smartphones to receive Gorilla Glass Victus 2 as their glass protection. So Victus 2 is Corning's latest innovation, which claims it can now withstand falls onto concrete and asphalt, basically rugged surfaces, and that would be huge. And so not only would it have better scratch resistance than ever before, it would also be the toughest glass used on any smartphone until now, and that is quite assuring. Now, while the S23, the base variant, is going to look a lot like the base S22, except for the camera housing, it's the S23 Ultra that's going to see two significant design changes. First, it's going to be a bit flatter than before. Still curved, but it's going to be slightly more rectangular in feel. And frankly, I really loved how the S22 felt. It's absolutely flat, more rectangular, and it felt really great. And so if that's where the S23 Ultra is leaning towards, that would be really good. I mean, personally, for me at least. 
Second, the camera lenses are going to have an outward ring. So the lens will be slightly inwards, protected from micro scratches that can deteriorate picture quality over time. It's almost like how the Watch 5 Pro was. The rim outside that protected the glass, which was ducked in. Okay, now let's talk about a few hardware upgrades. The biggest upgrade is that the S23 series will now feature the latest and the best Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip which will significantly improve performance and improve battery efficiency. Another major hardware upgrade is in the battery capacities of the S23 and the S23 Plus models. They both will come with slightly larger battery capacities, which was much needed, especially in the base S23. The S23 Ultra will come with the same 5000mAh capacity, but it would hopefully benefit a bit more because, you know, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip in general is a bit more battery efficient. Also, there's probably going to be an improvement in speaker output, especially lower frequencies. And so you'll basically have better bass, which is great. And secondly, you're going to get improved microphones. And so you basically get better audio recording. And then you couple that with an upgraded front facing camera. All in all, the S23 would be an excellent content creation tool. And now let's talk about pricing. And pricing details are always super tentative because that's the toughest information to leak. But the pricing won't be very different from what it was last year for all three devices. And of course, expecting a price drop would be very wishful. But most likely, we will see the same prices and hopefully these would be the variants that we can expect. Now, obviously, there would be bundle offers and exchange offers to bring the cost down, right? So you may get the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro for free or you may get the Galaxy Watch 5 for a lower cost along with the purchase of the phone. Something to sweeten the deal and bring the overall cost down. Now, the Galaxy S23 launch event is not only going to see the S23 smartphones being launched, but also the Galaxy Book 3 laptop lineup. There are also rumors that talk about Galaxy Dream being something that they will talk about. It's basically their own chip, a new chip that they're working on, you know, to take on competition and bring price advantage onto their smartphones. So it's going to be a pretty power packed event. So that's mostly everything we know about the S23 lineup so far. Now, if you're in two minds about whether to get a phone from the S22 lineup or the S23 lineup or the iPhone 14 Pro, I suggest you wait. It's only a matter of two weeks now and we'll have everything right in front of us and then we can make that choice. Okay, so thanks for watching guys. I hope this was really helpful. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments section below. And as always, if you found this helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. I'll see you guys in the next one.